Do you think that it's harder to be a man in America now than it was when you were a kid? Yes. Saying what you feel, being yourself, um, is, is what they call toxic. You know, we shouldn't be um, called toxic for, for our instincts and for, you know, I was born this way. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. why can't we be ourselves? We were born this way, too. So there are some groups, like if I say I'm trans, and people say, that's great, you were born that way, we affirm you. But if you say I'm just a dude with male instincts, you're not affirmed, you're attacked. Yeah, I mean, everybody doesn't really have to affirm you. You know, if I wake up and say, you know, I'm a, I feel like a pigeon. I want everybody to treat me like a pigeon. Some people may say, whatever, Q, <laughs> we treat you like a pigeon. But some people may choose to be like, dude, no. That's your world. Yeah. I'm not part of it. And I have to be ready for that. It's a big world out here. Everybody doesn't have to adhere to me. That's called narcissism, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Um, yeah. Seems like you, you're trying to bend the universe to your will. And don't work like that. We, we've been talking almost all day now. You haven't mentioned race a single time. You've mentioned economics, rich and poor, a number of times. Do you think that we overplay the role of racial conflict in American life? Yes, I think race, it, it takes up too much space. Um, there's people that we all have in our lives who are the same race that we can't stand. And there's people in our lives from other races that we get along with way better. So it's not about race. It's not about color and gender and this and that. It's about who do you connect with, you know? Who do you vibrate with? You know what I mean? I Who's do. on the same wavelength? Who wants to be the same kind of person? Who wants to do the right thing when you want to do the right thing? Um, that's who you connect with. So I think a lot of people get make a lot of money off of the racists fighting against each other and bickering. And they the ones who push it in our face all the time that we're separate. And um it does feel like there's more of that, doesn't there? Yeah, it seems like it's uh it's like you're stuck in a bad movie and you can't get out. Like you can't find the exit and it continues to play on the screen and you're just running around looking for the exit and this bad movie continues to just haunt you day by day by day by day. You know, that's what we're caught in. Um, a, a never ending, winless battle of, you know, um, of race and color and we're worried about, you know, where you from and, you know. Hip hop, what's great about hip hop, like it was a, sl it was a saying in hip hop early hip hop, I think Rakim coined this phrase, you know, it ain't where you from, it's where you at, you know? And it's so true. It's not about where you come from, it's about where you at right now. It, I'm not imagining that this stuff is being pushed on us, right? No. Much more than in say 1986. Yes, yes, I think so because in 1986, you had movies and television, and it was all scripted, and we knew this is a scripted show. But I think now you have so many so-called reality shows that basically push the same thing, but in a reality-like setting. So, you know, you'll watch a movie on race, Okay, and you flip the channel now, 
you're watching uh uh somewhat like documentary reality show that's highlighting and 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 magnifying race and 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 status and where you belong in this country and where you don't and you know uh we're highlighting the bad guys here we're highlighting the good guys you know um it's it's just it's always really showing controversy and pitting each other against each other. And with the reality shows, you know, controversy sells. So they're not showing people getting along. What they right. want to get to is the fight, the conflict, you know, the argument, the throwing of the bottles, the, you know, the turmoil, the differences. Um, and, you know. Does that bear any resemblance to your actual life as someone who lives in this country? Like, do you have racial conflict in your life day to day? Probably, you know, most of them are unseen. You know, uh, I, I'm not going to say I encounter racism. People know who I am. Police know who I am. Everybody knows who I am. So I, I probably get a pass on a lot of things um, that friends, family members, people I associate with, people I love go through all the time because they're not ice cube. Um, but... You know, I've had, you know, I've had an insurance company drop me because um, they didn't like my point of view. You know, things like that. Um, are you mad about it? Do you ever, are you mad at people for their skin color ever in the course of a day? Um, I'm not mad at people because of their skin color. You know, I'm mad at people because of what they do and the things they choose not to do. Right. Um, there's a big problem in this country with the financial banking system and black people and our access to capital. You know, I know that when it breaks down, we have, you know, 13 to 15% of the country trying to live off of half a percentage of wealth, you know, 0.5 uh, 0.05% of wealth. So that's an issue. That's a problem. You know, we have to have access to capital so we can do cool things for South Central. You know, if we drove one past one of those um, lots and a guy that lived there wanted to put a store up, he just couldn't get a loan because of his zip code. Now, guys from outside the area, they can come in and they can get along and put that store up. And that has to change. Young here people say the news is full of lies. Kennedy's motorcade. 239 people. The death of Jeffrey Epstein.